Hey there YouTube, Matea Man here, and we're going to give you another video, a how-to video on Ravenfield, specifically the map editor. Now in this one we're going to create a brand new map that we're going to focus in on three simple points, just to make it so that you can have a simple level that you can play through and test out some strategy. That level looks pretty good right off the bat. I chose Monument Valley and Small, and I'm going to click OK here where we can now look over this. All right, so I'm going to make it so we're sitting right here in the central area of this and build our three points. There'll be a point here, point there, and point there. First thing we'll do is grab the terrain item right here, and we'll smoothen out the terrain. I set the largest brush size, and I also set the highest intensity, just so we smoothen this out really, really fast. Now right there, now we have a nice big smooth patch. No more of those wavy sand dunes like we have on the rest of the map. And I think that looks pretty good. I can also go ahead and toss in a little bit more texture to this by adding in some grass over this area. Now I can really tell exactly what I'm going to be doing as I'm building this. Now that looks pretty good for the train. I think that solves what we we're looking for. Next we'll put the objects. The first and most important one are then the built-in types where we're going to put the capture points. The first capture point on that far side, and I'll control C, control V, put the second one all the way on the middle here, and then the furthest one on this end. And I'll try and make it so that they're fairly symmetric as we look over them. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe this one just moves over just a little bit. So I'll use the move tool to go ahead and drift that over there. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and assign each one of these a specific owner. So right off the bat, the blue base will be up top and down below. We'll have the red base to start off. And then we'll give the middle one an actual name of mid. <laughs> All right, so we've got each one of our bases assigned, and we can go ahead and start placing some more objects on here because it wouldn't work too well if we uh, spawn in just like that. I'll take these nice clay huts and we'll copy and paste these around, make it so that you can't actually shoot straight from one base to another when you spawn in. We want to create a little bit of a barrier around each base and add some extra objects in between to make it so that you have to use some strategy as you're running around the map. Now I think that looks pretty good, but everything's aligned, so we'll use the rotate tool to give a little bit of skew to each one of these. Now we gotta be careful to make sure that you can't shoot from one base to the next, so we'll take a couple of these ensuring that they are rotated in such a way that we can't shoot from one to another. And once I feel that that's pretty good as we're looking over this, I think we're looking all right. Rotate that one all the way to the here. And there's a little corridor right there, so I'll take another couple of these buildings and maybe this one here. Spawn those in like that to make it so that you can't shoot from one flag to another. And let's put another one like this one right there. All right, I think that ought to do it. That looks pretty good to me as we're looking at all the obstructions between the capture points. Next up, in order to play test this, we'll have to go ahead and go into level details here and set up the neighbors to say that this point goes to that point, goes to that point, and to that point. This will make it so that each of the command points can actually attack each other. The mini map will focus in on objects and then we'll zoom out from there. Uh, it looks like a good mini map. <laughs> the sky camera looks okay. Skybox looks okay. And important, you'll want to check your validation. A name's going to be required and a photo will be required. So. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and save at this point, making sure that we're capturing it. And I'm just going to call this three points, overriding an existing three points that I made earlier. And now it's generating the navigation message, meshes and everything it takes to be able to play the level. And we'll assign a photo at the very end here. And that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and give this a try by clicking play and we can save right over that same point again. It'll regenerate everything at this point, and let's see how well this level works out. I'll just choose my default weapon setup at this point, and let's go capture that empty spawn point that should be right around the corner. I would imagine we've got some red teams that are gonna turn around the corner as well right when we turn over here. And sure enough. Oh, I took down a teammate right off the bat. <laughs> Seems our blue team was able to get over here a little faster than the red team. But there they are, defending their initial base back here, doing the best they can. Alright, so that was a little unfair for how quickly our blues got over here. And we can see that the blues are pretty much uh, taking over this side of the map. Let's go ahead and add something a little different. We're in a map editor, so let's go back to the editor. 
Next, we're going to make it so that we have uh, vehicles in here. So we're going to go place, and we're going to go ahead and say spawn a vehicle. We'll put that vehicle right here, and I like this vehicle. It's the Jeep, but let's put a Jeep with a machine gun. Now that looks pretty good. It's right next to the flag, and we'll say that after it's been destroyed, it'll respawn, right? Next up, copy-paste, and we'll go put one over on the blue side. Now we'll rotate that to make it so that they're facing towards each other. Uh, it'll be a little hard to navigate them through these buildings, but they'll do the best they can as we do this. Now we already just dropped these vehicles in, got our photo done, everything's good. Let's go ahead and click play again and give this another shot. All right. Reloading, resaving all the navigation messages for our players to use and play. Here we go. Quite a few already jumped in the Jeep. Let's see how they do as they're taking on this level. Looks like they're navigating right outside. But I wonder where that enemy Jeep is. Seems the reds are coming over a little faster, a little bolder than usual. But the blues ended up getting here a little quicker right off the cup again. Oh, there's that Jeep. Alright. Well, this was the level editor in Ravenfield. Sure enough, we were able to assemble a level pretty quickly here and playtest it right off the bat. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, by all means, leave us a like or a subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you have any comments, by all means, use that comment block down below and I'll be happy to respond to any of the queries that y'all have. Hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.